Be ready to feed some deer. Oh yeah. And then maybe not get any this year. Probable. <laughs> All right, so we finally arrived. It's gonna be a little weird video. The truck's looking a little, a little different. Um, we don't really have a plan here, but we definitely need to, uh, we definitely need to feed our stands. I left the trail camera up over the year, so uh, we're gonna check out those pictures. Jacob's got to set up his stand, so it's gonna be a very diverse video. We might even go on a hike to a backcountry lake, depending on how far it is. We might not have enough time because we're only here for a night. But uh, stay tuned. It's gonna be very eventful. It's just uh, me and Jacob today. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get unloaded and get ready to sweat a lot. This is like, this is like one night going up to the cottage and like, look at all this gear. You'd think like, oh, you don't need any of this, but like, it's not, we're not going to just like sit down on a Muskoka chair and hang out like doing, yeah, we're doing a lot of stuff. So when you go hunting and fishing, you make sure you have space or trailer. That's why it's like, I can't imagine having a car, but just new feet out. There's that stand by the way. You can see that's so like an old stand I got tonight. Alright, yeah, take it out, take it out. I'll show you how it works. Hold it. Bring it down, bring it down. Get here. Do some record me? I'll show you. Is it already rolling? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ready? So this. That right, yeah, and then these are bungee. Yeah. Oh, shit. Used to stand that somebody gave. look, and you don't even you sit on tension, yeah. So you wrap this around a tree. I would put a piece of wood there eventually, I would, but like that's pretty comfortable sitting on nothing hard. Like, you have like a nice cushion, and you wrap this around the tree, and then this just pivots around the tree. And you there's already one, uh, you know, an older strap, it's like a broken <laughs> I don't know I'll, use, I'll tie it off with there whatever but then you use your ratchet straps and there you go and you fold it sweet collapsible just, like, whatever like literally like maybe 15 pounds like not even super collapsible like bring wow. it in all four you know? tie it on my back corn bag there you go all right so that's gonna be clutch for you and then you got the pegs so we're gonna set up his stand first they're gonna feed mine. Yeah, let's get to it, dude. All right, so the plan is, we do a lot of feeding up here because we're in like like deep woods in Ontario. So, you know, we don't really hunt over a field or anything. So we rely on feeding a little bit just to bring deer through. So I don't know if you see my stand before, you'll see it soon. It just runs off an animal trail where I booked last year. I'll, I'll post the uh, video in the, in the description, but that's what we have to do. We got two buckets of apples, some black magic little Sloppy slop. Sloppy slop. Two bags of corn. And we're gonna try and do it in, in, in one run. It's about 20, 22 degrees. Feels like 30. Oh, yeah. I'm dying right now. Hot. But hot. Uh, And then I also left the camera up there. We're gonna check those pictures out and I, I'll show you guys what we got over the year. The, the camera's probably destroyed. We'll see what happens. It's it's uh, September, early September. It's still a lot of green. Nothing's dying yet, so it's a big Absolutely trek. Absolutely nothing. All right, so. My water. Camera bitten up. It's a little scratched. No bite marks. I pulled it off. There was a nice black, look poisonous looking spider sitting in there. Oh, that's good. Oh, well, that's pretty good for sitting there after you had this on three bars. Yeah. You just turn it I off? I just turned it off now. Oh, crap. Nice. Okay. I'll bring that back for now. We'll come back tomorrow. I got to. Uh, Drop that stand and get, get camera battery. Like I do every year, instead of doing piles, I just scatter it because it looks looks like it fell from an apple tree. It looks au natural. Yeah, it's a little natural. Yeah, definitely this log here. They like this log. I'll just scatter more. So especially with the log that that year, Yeah, they don't uh, they don't compete for it. I'll do a little bit with the uh, 
corn. We're okay. fake outdoors now because we don't bring knives. Yeah, pretty fake. And, uh, we don't want to scatter it too much. We need gloves for the squirrels. Stay out of your camera. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful. If you look around, it's not bad. If you're a deer, you probably eat here. Or a bear. I bet you the bears are definitely going to get through it. And then, last but not least, add a little something to bring them in. The good old sloppy sloppy. You're going to want some too, right? Oh, yeah. This is a little slop. This will probably stupidly bring in bears, but sometimes you get lucky. Look at that. Oh yeah. They're like rocks are the best. Like, just give me that. Slop. Oh yeah. That's the best. Okay. Get, it Get all over your hand. Mm. The smell is... Yeah. Never mind the deer, I want some. I hate, like I hate feeding. Like, eventually I'm gonna get to a point where I don't have to feed. But like I said before, when you're in like these thick bush areas up north, especially in Ontario, like if you don't feed, someone else is, and you're gonna have to compete with those deer. So luckily I'm on a long little trail. You can long trail. Down. You see it kind of walks even, around. I didn't even like use a machete or anything. So. It's pretty natural. They'll walk through here. Comes around this tree here. Yeah. All the way last, year I, last year I missed one. One walk by and even if you watch the bear video, I'll post it in the description. You'll see that a bear came right behind me, so they're here and even two moose. So it's a good area. You got marsh that way, you got woods that way. We're about 400 yards from the from the road, from a non-maintained road. So this is it. I'm gonna move this thing out of the way, check it out, and then we're gonna have a lot of fun to do. We're gonna have to put up this guy's stand. <laughs> See his little pond behind us. Uh, we're, we're driving down just looking for Jacob's stand. You see, he's just stopping at every single pond. Seeing if there's geese, even even ducks, because ducks open. When's duck open here? Early too, right? Uh, September 15th, I think. Yeah, but if you look here, I mean, we don't hunt uh, goose on farm fields yet, so this is this is what we got to work with. So you do see them here sometimes. You don't see like big flocks, but you do see them. You definitely see ducks. There's a lot of teal up here. So we'll be stopping by a lot of these lakes and getting a getting an idea of where to hunt definitely in late September. Yeah. You wanna open it or you wanna keep going? Let's okay. Check. Let's check right here. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out what the walk in bring here, I guess. We're gonna have to do some feels like Lyme disease. Butchery. Oh yeah. Yeah, a lot of dead trees here. Maybe that's why they did some cutting. And all this grew in. Looks wow. like they did cutting years ago. Careful, huh? What? Careful. Looks like they did cutting like years ago. This looks like some bedding here. Oh, crunchy. Oh, that's over. Oh, check this out. Dude. This is crazy. If you uh, look around me, you see a big opening, maybe like 50 meters from the road. But we're gonna walk it a little bit. Look for some tracks or trails. This is definitely a, an amazing spot. Might be a little close, but you'll definitely see something make a mistake here. And you have a long, a long shot for sure with your rifle. Oh, yeah. yeah, obviously you can see that. 
a little dried up. Who knows how long that is, but there's moose here. I mean, like, no doubt there's moose here. Like, just look around you. So this is uh, definitely a prospect area, but it does look like something's been using this trail a little bit. But you look around me, it's really open, but deer are pretty smart in the fall. They'll, they won't show up in the open like this a lot. They'll kind of, they'll go deep in the bush and thicker because they know you're not there. And you'd be surprised how deep you could go and you'd see them. So this is, uh, but this could be like a crossing where they, they might make a mistake. And you know, you could you could get them here. But uh, I'd put this, uh, I, I, we might we might go here. We're gonna keep driving down. It opens up again, eh? Mm -hmm. So, looks like this goes. We'll keep driving down and see what happens. So we just walked like right across from where we were. We found this little animal trail that looks like it crossed. Nice and moist here. Yeah, it's very, yeah, it's a little more damp here. It's actually dry, this forest. This is the driest I've ever seen it, but there's definitely tracks. We just saw some moose scat. You might find some bedding. Jake, I'm on a trail here. Yeah, I'm on something. I see imprints, but when the soil's dry, it's hard to uh, tell. Oh, Jake, we got bear scat. Yeah? Yep. I got bear scat as well. You on you on deer uh, deer tracks? Just went that way. Right oh there. yeah, yeah, that's a fawn too. Definitely fawn. Oh yeah, they're here. Yeah, another imprint kind of right there. Light one, like okay, okay, let's keep going. I really like this. I like this right it's now. Marshy. It's not too like imagine when it's all dead. You know? That's a wild mushroom, if you guys have ever seen one. Super Mario mushroom. Pretty sure these are the uh, really poisonous ones. Oh, I love those ones. Jesse knows about that. I like eating those. Okay, look at this. That looks like it'll kill you in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Let me know what the, that mushroom is, if you guys know. It's the same one, but orange here. Look at that, you walked right over it. Yeah. That is the biggest moose poop I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, they're pretty big. That's some big poop. They're like fresh too, because everything's dry, so. That's like two weeks. Oh yeah, it's pretty hard actually. <laughs> this is good though, because this is hardwood. Like, yeah. When have we ever walked here? This is a big this is a big difference here, Jay. I really like this. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful tree for a stand. <laughs> yeah. You got that? I say we keep going, man. I can even run a shotgun in here with this thing. Yeah, you might as well. But this is all gonna be dead, eh? This tree is thick tree and branches. Just remember that. This is all dead. So I say we keep going just a little bit. I'm trying to find a game trail, so I'm trying to find Yeah, so let's start walking. I got I got a GPS back, so. Usually there's three or four game trails. Got more, more moose cat, for sure. This looks like a game trail right here. That's that's buck shit, man. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, deer poo right there. Right here. I see it. This is uh, a. <laughs> This is a game trail. You can see, you can see the ground is imprinted. All, all the way through, yeah. Through. And deer walk low. Oh yeah, you can actually see it. I don't know if you could tell. You can see camera. it right through there. Yeah, it goes through. Kind of goes. Can't tell on camera. Jacob, buddy, I like this. This is pretty mad. This well, is I'm like, sure. I'm jealous, cause like, this is like, okay, you go that way. I'll go a little this way. See if we can find more scat. Oh, muddy tracks. Here we go. Right off the hop. That's a moose. Right sure. off the hop. Oh, that's deer. That's deer. Yep. That's moose. That's a massive. Bear. That's moose. That's that's, moose. That looks like bear too, yeah. Could deer. Be deer, yeah. Alright. Oh, this is It's all dried up. You got moose. But the, the thing is, this is fall, absolutely beautiful. This fall. is all dead. Oh my, you got another trail here. You got trails coming out the ass here, dude. But the thing is, in the fall, is this going to be water? Barely. Then that How much? Issue. How no, much? Look at the moss going over the tree. So is it higher than the tree? Okay, okay but how much? How much? Like, yeah. yeah. I don't think that's over the tree. I think it's just moisture. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Bear scat. Everywhere. Pretty damn fresh. Look at this tree. 
but that that's pretty close, I think. Because if, there, if this is a trail right here, then they're running right underneath. Right. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh Lord. That's a trek, bud. Yeah, they're everywhere. They're destroying me. Okay. The ring. You set up your camera here too, eh? Right, right there. So that's done, we gotta set up a camera there. Now we need, looks like about 30 yards. Shot from this tree here. Break that branch off. You'll be able to get higher. And we're good to go. Got some synthetic dough urine. Now, I don't think this shit works. But when you open this thing, it really does smell like deer piss. I don't see why it wouldn't work. You just dip it in here and you stay far away. And this thing kind of like, like swell up. Oh God. And you just hang it somewhere where it's not gonna really fall off easy. Oh, this is gross. You're actually supposed to tie this to like your boot and you trail it to your stand. So I think we'll do that on the way back. Oh, there's one in my face. What? Dull urine. Oh, ah, greasy. <laughs> I have a harness on, I swear. Actually, it's only if you're above two meters. You don't need That's a harness. Yeah, right. So you're, you're pretty good right now. Yeah, she's on an angle. You can feel it. We'll pull it from the other side down can, to another tree. Yeah. Put a rope here and here. Cinch her on the back. Yeah. Two separate ropes. There you go, though. That's pretty good. Need some work, but she's good. That's it. It looks oh. solid. Like, like oh, shake it. Shake it. Oh, you're not moving. Yeah, it's fine. You're not moving, dude. Oh. Rangefinder. What, what could you see? Here, take I this. Already on. Oh, yeah. See that catch? So I got a pretty good view out here. Food piles all the way around there. Luca's the deer. Can you get my, can you get my... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I get that nice, that nice broadside. That's about a 15 point buck right there. Food's all the way over there. So they're gonna be, oh man, mosquitoes. They're gonna be walking across here, walking across this way. Like they're gonna, it's just, there's trails just pew, 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 everywhere, so it's pretty beautiful. But the uh, the mosquitoes are not beautiful. Anyways, pretty sturdy, I think. Need some work. Probably gonna throw a couple more ropes here. Handles are a little uh, little iffy there <laughs> on both sides, so I'm gonna secure it up. But anyways, we're gonna get the hell out of here because I have over 100 mosquito bites. Now we're looking at the pictures. So. You guys get to see, I left my camera on May 16 and it goes all the way till now, which is September 4th. And it's not even dead yet, which I'm surprised. It grows. That's classic. 
So I pointed at a mineral lick right off a trail. I didn't even point it at my uh, my barrel there at the time. Oh, wolf. Oh, hello. He's got a collar on, the same one. Wow, 6.52 p.m., May 21st. May 21st, yeah. 6.52, whoa. What the hell, was oh, a bear. And the bear's it's ass. It's like a boar. Yes, it does look like a boar. Wow, I thought that was a boar. It's a boar. Oh my God. If you guys are looking right now, I'm like, is that a bear May 22nd. or a boar? May 22nd. Five this looks like a bear, because you see like that what little spike, one but this one, boar. dude, what time? 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's got to be a boar. That could be a hog. Or a really small, like... Eastern Ontario hogs has been yeah, a rumor. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sighting. There's been a rumor. Here's a wolf. Yeah, that's a wolf. It's collared. It's collared. So it's weird that these are all coming for just a salt block. Oh, he's a nice bear. Oh. He's skinny looking. Uh, well, May spring 20... bear, right? Here's spring a... bears are skinny because yeah. they've been May, hibernating. May 27th. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a nice wow. bear. That's a bruiser. That's a nice bear. So this is seven days later from our last bear sighting. It's exactly a week later from our last June bear 4th. sighting, and this bear is a bruiser compared to the one we just saw. Nice fat doe. Just eating foliage off the top of the tree. Oh yeah, that's cool. Nice fat doe. Well, look at her ear. She's missing a chunk of her ear. No way. Is she tagged? Maybe she was tagged. Maybe. By the minister. Ripped off. Or something bit it, eh? Ripping like a, a chunk out of her ear. Like a lynx. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh! It's all oh, it's all bear. Not, it's okay. bears, eh? July twelfth, eight fifty one a.m. We got a nice doe. At least no, at least no bears, yeah. eh? Which is kind of good for like. This doe looks pregnant. Oh yeah, that's pregnant. Look around her belly. This is July twelfth, eight fifty two. Yeah, but it would have been born. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Oh no, born. there's She's a probably just fat. Skinny neck, really skinny neck, but large body. Definitely a good broadside hit. The ear, man. Is that a different one than the much? The, the ear's there, so... The ears there? Oh, yeah, the ear's so there. So it's a different doe. Nice. So, so far we've had a few different animals. Yeah. A few different doe come through. Yeah, this one's skinny. Yeah, this one's about, I think, one or... There's got to be one to three. That's a big ear. That's a, that's a different one. The ears are huge. Look at that. August 19th, 117. Big ears. Look at them. Oh, man. Camera was sketching it out. Oh, August twentieth was the last one. August nineteenth. Next day, same same one. Oh, baby! August twenty second, we got some huge paddles on a brown moose. Two moose. That's his head right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Two massive. Right. Two massive moose. Yeah, two. Wow. Yep. They must be licking the camera or the something. Piece. Oh boy. She stuck around too. 622. Just licking all the way through. You just That's sat it. there licking. Oh, they love it. Dude. That's today. Wow. You just look like it. Wow. That's all right. So we got the we got potential. Definitely. I can't wait to see yours. Oh yeah, mine's gonna be good. We're gonna come back in about two weeks, take a look at mine, throw down some more feet of both our stands, salt licks. I gotta uh, secure mine a bit more. That's about it. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Anyways, see you in the morning. We're gonna do that backcountry lake uh, hike there, about three kilometers. We're gonna fish for largemouth bass. I don't know what a, what the hell else, but pickerel yeah. maybe. There might be there might be small eye in there too. I don't know. Well, we'll see.